First up, the demand for the Johnson & Johnson vaccines rising. Remember, it's a one-dose shot. Governor DeSantis announcing yesterday there's a holdup right now with getting more doses of the vaccine to Florida, likely due to a supply issue. And as the state works to get more doses, this morning we're taking a closer look at that one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine, getting answers about its lower efficacy rate compared to the other two vaccines. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott explains what it all means and what you need to know if you get this shot. Experts tell us it's really hard to compare the effectiveness of the different COVID-19 vaccines because the clinical trials are all set up in different ways. So what they're looking at in terms of efficacy is an endpoint. And all, f all three of the vaccines that we do have out there right now have defined that endpoint in a little bit of a different way. According to the CDC, the single shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine was 66% effective in clinical trials at preventing COVID-19 in patients. The multi-dose Pfizer and Moderna vaccines have 95% and 94% efficacy rates respectively. Some people have concerns about getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because its effectiveness is less than its counterparts, but experts stress there were different elements in play during each clinical trial. Trial. The Johnson Johnson vaccine was trialed later, and it was also trialed in places uh, like Latin America and um, South Africa, where these variants of concern that we've been talking about um, uh, came up. And so that also affects the vaccine efficacy as well. Doctors say the way vaccine effectiveness works is by lowering your risk of getting symptomatic infections. That's what those percentage numbers mean. What we do know, though, is that you know, for all three of the vaccines, they're very effective against severe COVID uh, at preventing hospitalizations and pre preventing deaths. Experts are urging people to get vaccinated as soon as they can with any of the vaccines, especially now that the highly contagious UK variant is the most dominant strain in Florida. Reporting from Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.